Welcome to InfaSport videos. This is Harshad Agrawal and I am here to discuss how to change Java version in client machine. The agenda of this video is to discuss what is the need to change the Java versions and what are the steps that are involved to do it. The very first thing like what is the need to change Java version in client machine. So whenever we are going to launch the EDM uh, from the client machine so it is required that the EDM should use the correct version of Java which is certified, tested and certified with Informatica. Like suppose in EDM up to DS64HF2 version, Java 1.7 is compatible and in the EDM on DS6.4.3 version, Java 1.8 is supported. So what are the steps that we need to perform? In a client machine, we need to go to the control panel in Java there or we can directly go to the configure Java. In that window, this window will appear that is being shown here and you need to click on Java tab and click on the view in the Java and in the view. So this window will appear. This will list like whatever the Java installed there and if you will see it will be having, if you will expand this, it will be having the path to the Java W which you will be using to launch the applet file that is our EDM. So that is the enabled and disabled button. We can enable that one which we want to use at that particular moment like uh, this 1.8 one of them will be JRE entry and one of them will be JDK Java entry and this 1.7 is one entry that is listing here we can click on enable which we want to use currently just click on ok click on ok if it is not being listed here you can we can also click on add and uh, add new entries there Uh, sometimes it might happen like uh, even after selecting the correct entry uh, the correct version of Java was not being picked while launching the EDM file. This happens because uh, if we have already previously launched the EDM at that time some catches and uh, applets were stored in the client machine because of that when we are launching it next time it is accessing that catch files. So what we need to do here we need to just clear the older catch files. Uh, how we will do? We will just again go to the control panel and click on the Java or we can directly go to the configure Java. Here we will go to the general tab. We will click on the settings. It will open the temporary file settings and uh, we will click on the delete files. It will open this file which will be prompt to show what to delete like trace and log files, cached applications, installed applications and applets. You need to just click on this, check this one and click on OK. Click on OK. So it will clear all the older cache files as well as applets, application, trace logs, every older history will be deleted. So after that when we will launch, it will pick the in new settings that we have recently saved. So we will see these things in a demo also. So currently what we are going to, we will here use uh, configure java, we can directly go or we can also go to control panel this is control panel and we can click on java to open this one so this is our entry of so this is our java control panel window we just uh, need to go to Java, click on view. So it will it is really listing these all JDK versions. This will list the complete path, uh, like uh, this and which version it is currently being used. Like this is JR Java. This is 32 bit. This is 64 bit, and uh, this is 1.7 Java. So what we can do here, uh, like uh, currently this enabled one is 1.8. We will disable this one and we will enable this one okay yeah so 1.7 will be enabled click on apply click on okay so it will be very best practice if we will do in this way like we will again go to configure java yeah and in the general settings just click on delete files and clear all the previous cache and output files click on ok it will be deleted click on apply yeah so 
for any kind of feedback we would love, like to hear from you you can share your feedback at support videos at the rate informatica.com as well as given twitter link thanks